Next question. I just landed a big client who has four offices in different cities near each other, near each other, excuse me. And my main objective is to generate more calls from their GMB pages. So I figure this is where I can show the biggest and fastest results. I was thinking about doing a big SEO shield for the brand first and add local SEO shields for the specific GMB pages. Any better idea? Um, well, yeah, I mean, you really, you can do it all underneath the one branded shield is what you, that's, I think, I'm pretty sure Marco's going to suggest that. And I'm going to let Marco take over this one. I would, I would assume that you can push all of that through the primary SEO shield, which would be your drive stack and all of that. And then you can create location-based optimized folders within the stack. Um, instead of having these different uh, stacks and all of that, you can do it all under one and you actually get more power out of it that way than having different stacks, at least through my experience. Marco, this one is definitely yours. Yeah, well, I mean, we're thinking brand. I was supposed to be thinking brand. We should be thinking brand. If we don't, I mean, right now, like what I'm, what I'm recommending to everyone is think of, of, of a catchy name because you know, women's shoes, uh, whatever, women's shoes Chicago, that's not a brand. That's a keyword. Right? New women's shoes, just whatever. Those are not brand. Think of brands, think of a name that you want for your company that, that, that's, that's catchy. And that that's going to, uh, to to last, right? It's going to it's going to stand the, the, the test of time. Why? Because if 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 you hit that one, if you, the, if you got that unicorn, if you got that one, that 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 for whatever reason becomes the the keyword for the niche, then then that that that's an ATM. That's a twenty four hour uh, three sixty five ATM. It's going to pour money in your pocket and your client. Hopefully, it's your idea. But that's the way you should all be looking at project. Even if you have to do local, which is a brand plus location plus keyword association, you're looking at the brand always. So even if it's different cities, there, there, there should be one main office, right? McDonald's, you, they, they differentiate between McDonald's Corporation and, and then the, the franchises and the franchisees and, and then everything else that, that McDonald's does. It, it's, not, it's not one McDonald's in, in one place and then another one in uh, orphaned in another place or, or, or whatever. No, it's, it's all one big brand. Look at how the big boys take on the internet. Look at how they set it all up. Look at how they, uh, they set up the franchise model or the multiple city, multiple office model and do the do that they do. Because if you don't, you're going to be left behind. Right now, if, if, you, if you start now and, and you're starting it off right and you're working just brand, just from, from, from that aspect, then you're going to know that everything that you do needs to relate to that brand and to everything that's under that brand. You claim your footprint, right? You go and claim all your social profiles. You go and you, everything that, that you, excuse me, everything that you set up should be with you looking to create that brand plus keyword association. Not everyone is, and I talked about this during the charity webinars, not all of you will be able to, to make your project the next Amazon or the next Google or the next whatever. But you should be working as if that's going to happen. And the way that we can push power right now, the way that we do things at Semantic Mastery, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a wide open field. It, it, it's even, it's an even playing field. So that, I mean, we, we saw the test case in, in, uh, in our mastermind where, where Deria went after Amazon and he's fighting Amazon, Walmart, you name it, in the e-commerce space. And, and, and he's carved his niche. He's, he's yeah. there. And, and the client is happier than a pig and shit. It's impressive. I mean, in such a short period of time, uh, to like with e-com, to take on Walmart and Amazon and be competitive with them in, in such a short period of time, it's absolutely incredible. It's impressive. Um, so anyways... There you go. Uh, and yeah, you know, what's interesting guys in the two X your agency training, the double your agency training. Um, you know, the, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm finishing, I should finish today week three's training. And it's all about the, the first four weeks is about two X your pipeline. It's about increasing, filling your pipeline full of leads prospects so that you can never have to worry about revenue again for your agency. You can not only sell more clients, close more clients, generate more revenue, but you can also pick 
cherry pick the best ones because the problem is if you only got 10 leads coming in your business, you know, you, you, you are uh, desperate to try to close as many of those 10 as possible. And it comes across in ev everything that you say, your actions, your tone of voice, everything, it comes across as desperate because you need the revenue and you only got 10 prospects to, 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 to talk to. If you had a hundred prospects to talk to, it'd be a completely different psychology. So anyways, I talked, the reason I brought that up is because the whole first four weeks is about building your brand. Exactly what Marco's talking about, but not, there is an SEO benefit to it, but I'm not talking about building your brand in SEO terms. There is a, a, a portion of that where I talk about it, but most of it is about building your brand so that you become synonymous with whatever product or service it is that you're trying to promote. So for example, you know, I talk about niching down. That's how I prefer to do it. I think it's much easier to scale an agency that way. So like associating your primary keyword which may be tree service SEO or like for me, for example, or tree service marketing or tree service lead generation, whatever it is with, with the brand name. And it's about building that brand and that association. And so the whole first four weeks is about really building your own brand first. That's, that's super important because now that's how you start. Like Mar Marco said, once you become, once the association has been generated, not just within Google, but also within other, within, you know, prospects, minds, customer potential audience, uh, target minds. Um, that's like an ATM. It's a 24 hour machine, uh, you know, cash machine. That's just going to constantly deliver money. And that's what, that's where you want to be for your own agency, as well as for your clients. You want to be able to reproduce that, duplicate that for your clients and have, and help them become the branded verb. You know what I mean? Like you, you want them to be the ones that are associated with their product or service in their local area. And the way that you do that is through what Marco calls entity SEO. It's about building that brand. And that's, that's incredibly, I mean, that's absolutely true. That's guys, it's about branding. That's you want, you want to kill it in SEO, build the fucking brand period. Like That's just the way it is now. And uh, it's only going to continue to go further in that direction, in my opinion. So. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not just an opinion. It's what Google is telling you. I mean, the, the, everything that they've come out with and I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing this all over with people that just, they have no clue. And it's all about entity. All of these people that, that, that saw drops in whatever they were doing is because their, their entity wasn't right. And those who benefited or didn't see any changes are because they're doing things right. And, and, and to me, it's funny because the only way that we find out about updates is like when people come in, in hump day or in our groups and tell us, you guys see that update? And we're like, no, no, but let me go yeah. look and, and, see, and see what it's about. I know what it's about. I saw what it's about. Google tells you. What is about Google tells you, I mean, almost to, to the letter, what they want. And then John Mueller will go and tell you the opposite so that you don't know what to do. So you gotta, you gotta go sift through all of that to get the right information. Cause you got a lot of people that are just uh, uh, spreading the Google word without understanding what it is that they're saying, without even understanding what it is that John Mueller is saying. Cause a lot of times what John Mueller says and what he means are two totally different things. Don't pay attention to John Mueller. If you don't want to believe Marco, then don't believe Marco. Go and test and see for yourself whether what I'm telling you, entity-based SEO, whether that's what's working right now. And I guarantee you that you're going to get results if you do the things right, set up your SEO shield, and then do the things that, that, that are in the battle plan that we recommend for your entity. I, and it, it's just a done deal. It's, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. And you can go up against anyone. I'm telling you right now, that you can take on anyone in the internet space and win. I think uh, Hernan was going to contribute. Absolutely. Yeah, I was about to say on a different branding perspective, uh, branding from the perspective of creating a brand to attract customers, um, not from the SEO perspective. That is something that I'll be contributing as well uh, with, you know, shortly to uh, to XA, which is going to be a, a branding course for, or an inbound prospecting course for, um, digital agency owners. So basically, how do you use, on my case, which is my wheelhouse, which is going to be Facebook, how do you uh, leverage Facebook and Facebook ads, not the organic stuff, not the fact that you need to post a thousand times a day and be glued to your phone and, you know, right. look like a teenager. Not, not, we're not talking about that, right? We're talking about like doing real business. We're talking about re doing real business, not influencer type stuff, but real stuff because you also need to build and run your business, right? So, so, you know, my idea is to show you real quick how you can build a brand around yourself so that you can 
uh, pipe those leads into whatever your sales process is, whether it is like talking to you or if you have a salesperson or a, a call center, whatever that is. But I'm going to share with you guys how to do that in 2XA. That's going to be available, you know, next next week for sure. So it's going to be in 2XA agency as well. So there you go. Yeah, and I, I would just add to, to, to people that when you're building your brand, when you're talking about your brand, it's, it's not something that you separate from your SEO brand. It's right. all your brand. Your brand is, is how you're going to do business. It's going, to, it's going to be your calling card on on the web. And you can't call yourself Joe Schmo from Kokomo anymore and, and expect to go up again when Google is benefiting brands. And so, so again, if you're not working towards that brand, towards becoming the, the, the keyword for the niche, right? Like you said, to becoming the verb in your niche, then you're not doing it, right? You, 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 you can, I mean, forget it. You're going to have to do so much work, so much work to, 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 make, it, to make it right that it, it, you may as well just start doing it right, like right from the beginning. Yeah. Work on that brand. Think of that brand. Work with your client on that brand when they tell you, well, I want the keyword in the city. No, that's not, how, that's not the way that you should do things. You should think about your business and how it is that you want to present yourself to the customer, to the client, to people on the web, how do you want your, 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 your brand to appear to the people who are looking for, uh, for your products and services or whatever it is that you're selling? Yeah, anyways, that's, um, you know, again, guys, this, what, what's great about this is, remember, you, you're hearing from uh, multiple agency owners here too, that, and we all have, you know, we all understand the, the importance of that whole branding thing. There's the SEO aspect of it, but it's all one and the same now. You shouldn't separate the two, right? Right, right. Building the brand and SEOing the brand is one and the same. <laughs> and, and, and so, again, it's, um, it's good to hear an opinion from Marco and from Hernan and from myself, you know, and being able to hear it from, we each, we each have our own successful agencies beyond what we do here at Semantic Mastery. So that's, it's good, it's good to know that, you know, we're, we're speaking from experience, right? This isn't just the...